just hooked a fish. Small one. But at least it is a fish. Then he gets me splashed with it. Gonna brew this thing. A large mouth. That's not too bad. Didn't have him hooked by a whole lot. A little bit nicer. Back in the water. Just caught this little tiny bass. One of the thighs is kind of messed up, I think. I did not hook it, I just hooked it in his nostril. You want to be listen? Got another little bass. This one on a shaky head. First one I've caught in a little while. Fishing mission was snagged. He just now come on loose. So now it's three bass for me, one for him. Starting off to be a good morning. We came back in a very shallow little finger because we saw all kinds of fish activity and bait back here. Oh, and that is the first fish I've caught in this area. We've seen a bunch of busting on top of the water and stuff, and uh, all kinds of shad, but a little green some fish first one I caught. So, I'm gonna get back to it. In the net. Nope. Oh, freshwater drum. <laughs> There is shad everywhere. I've decided to start to try to target freshwater drum. Maybe I'd catch bass. Fun to catch still. This one mission just caught this nice small mouth. If he ever gets it under control. How deep is it? <laughs> It basically like sharked it since I saw its dorsal fin as it took it. It's a little bit deep. Do you need pliers? Maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to reel mine in so I can set it down. Got it kind of deep, but yeah. it could be a little bit deep. We keep the pliers up here in the center console. He has been, you know, I can't see anything. I thought you would do it, not me, but. Okay, let me do it. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna show him where the hook was, but uh, you know, if you don't have slats, it makes it harder. Sorry, I just can't really see you with the pliers in the way. Okay, switch me and I'll get it. I wanna get the fish back in water. You want to measure him or just throw him back? Probably just go back. Okay. I'd say it's 14, 15 inches. Would you get over here with the camera? There we go. My dad just caught a decent catfish. Looks like a flathead. Didn't really do a good camera angle on it. That's a flathead, right? I think so. The coloring is very muddy. I thought, but since I was hoping for bass or something, he uh, put up a good fight. You know, I, don't like I don't think there's much of it. I could have probably both flipped him, but because uh, this hook is really stout, and he was definitely hooked up. So. Can we put him in the live well? I guess. Yep. Be careful. Set my rod out of the way so we don't trip over it now. Where 
Hoping you would be a Captain Cook today. And there probably will be. Maybe not a cook today, but maybe tomorrow. Yeah. My rag, I've been using to wash the boat down. Here is the bluegill right here. And there is the catfish. Use the bag to, like, Ziploc bag to batter or put breadcrumbs on it. Shake it up in a Ziploc bag. Rinse the fish. And we washed out the deep fryer. We boiled potatoes until they were able to cut through with ease. Then we refrigerated them and now they're ready to deep fry to do like french fries along with the fish. Just got the fish cooked. They'll float and be flaky when they're fully cooked. Those white meat.